Hi, this is Gabriel Castro from Gilded Age Pens. In this video, we're gonna be making another bespoke pen similar to this, using the same clip that we made in the previous videos. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be using a piece of 12 inch ebonite, and we'll show you how we make that. Okay, so this is a 12 inch ebonite rod and I have it marked very similarly to a pen kit with a cap and body or an upper and a lower. And then on the end, I have a, a piece marked off here for a section. So if we look at a previous pen that I made, and uh, the cap is about two and seven eighths inch long. Right here, that's a 14 millimeter double start uh, tap and die that I used for the threads on inside and outside for the for the, uh, the section where the cap attaches. So anyway, the section is an inch long. I'm using a Joel number six. The body is um, about four, you know, about three and a half inches long. The body going up to where the section attaches. So here, I have it a little bit longer. Um, I've got it probably about, I've got it here marked off for four inches. I only need about three and a half. In case I make a mistake when I'm uh, doing the taps or drilling or anything, when I'm tapping and dying on the inside or the outside, I've, I've got another half inch to work with. So that's just a little insurance policy, not that I ever make mistakes. I'm sure we all do, and I still do. The cap, like I said, is about two and seven eighths inch long. And um, here, uh, I've got about three and a quarter inches, so I've got a little bit extra to work with. And this is the, the clip that we made in the previous uh, set of videos for bespoke clip made from a 50 caliber bullet. And you can see that that matches that exactly and you can see how it would it would attach right there from the top. You can see how that looks where it almost wraps all the way around. So anyway, you get the idea. You've seen that before and that will attach like that. So all we'll do now is we'll just uh, mark or we have it marked. So we'll just take our saw, cut that, cut here, and then cut here. At the lathe, I'm using my PSI collet chuck system. This is a three quarter inch collet chuck. And uh, this is a four, or excuse me, an 18 millimeter ebonite that we cut up earlier. And that fits in there like so. So I'm gonna drill from the side where it says cap because this is gonna be the end piece just like you would on a regular blank. Normally when I drill my caps, um, it would actually be in this orientation inside the chuck. Uh, I would drill all the way down to this depth here, pretty deep all the way, just leaving a little bit of room from the tip. And anyway, um, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I've got a mark here which is probably about an inch and a half, uh, probably about an inch and actually five eighths, which is gonna be the length of the section and the threads. So this is a, a one inch section. And if you look here, let me loosen this up. I'm gonna leave some room from the tip here back, leave about an eighth of an inch of a gap and then I'm gonna step it down to 3 eighths of an inch, which is the diameter, um, it's larger than the diameter of, this, of, the, um, of the nib here, the Joe number six nib. So uh, normally, like I said, I would drill that total length down, which is um, like two and, three, two and three eighths of an inch, I believe. Turn that seat down.
So as you can see here, this is my 3 8 inch drill bit. I have it set for the full depth on this bit right here uh, for the threads and all the way down. Even though that hole is drilled, it still has to go down that much further to get the whole length of the body to go in all the way. So I switched out to a 33 60 fourths. Again, that's the same depth that we cut out when we did the original half inch. And then that's going to make it wide enough and still leave me the meat that I need to cut the threads on the inside of the cap for the, for the tap and die. what that looks like now it's ready to do the taps and die now okay so you can see uh, this is a half of a piece of acrylic that I step drilled inside that way I could see uh, what it was going to look like if I decide to taper how much I can take off on the sides because instead of having a clunky, heavy looking cap, I thought it'd be kind of cool just to taper the tip a little bit down, give it a nice, uh, a nice look to it. So that way I know what it looks like on the inside. And then also I can use um, the dimensions on the inside to see how this fits inside over here. And you can see that that fits pretty good except for the brad point we know is in the middle, but if you look at that, that is just offset. So, it's a good thing I did this. That way I know what the anatomy looks like from the inside. Um, so how to counteract that, like this is the piece that we're working on here. Uh, I drilled it a little bit deeper, and instead of using a brad point bit, I'm using a regular metal bit, but I reground the tip so it's a little bit less of a taper so that when I uh, go into here, you can see how much from that line there, how much deeper it goes in. Let me mark that so you can get an idea. So I'm actually going in about uh, a quarter of an inch deeper here so plus plus the taper so that if I put my uh, section in here I've got plenty of room to work with and if I want I can always trim a little off the off the back so anyway that's a good explanation of how the inside will look Okay, so I've got a couple of marks in lead here and here. This one is for the inside dimension of the cap depth wise. And this one is the total length of the cap. And you can see what that looks like. So and then a little more than an eighth of an inch is going to be waste. Plus that allows me for the dimple on the end so I'd, I'm not digging in to the 
end of the cap here. Now I'm just going to shape that. I, I wanted to put a little bit of a of a detail here, more of a concave detail on the end. And instead of this one is rounded. And then I'm going to try and taper this down. So if I look at this right here, I'm going to try and leave the same about 17 30 seconds of an inch. So it's going to be roughly the same wall thickness as what's going on here. I want to transfer that same depth over here so I'm not taking off too much on the end. So that should be interesting. So using this as my template on the inside, I know that this is here. So this is where the tenon is, where it steps down. So I can start my taper from this point to there. And I'll be using my parting tool, working from the end back. Okay, so here's the basic shape and you can see it's the same length as the bottom cap. Okay, so off camera, I wet sanded this down using micro mesh through all the grits from 1500 to 12,000. Okay, so I've trimmed the end so you can see that on the ends here on both sides that's lined up center wise um, and right down the middle and if you look at the end that's a pretty good fit all the way around on the back side um, I just need to drill a hole and screw those in okay one side in now I'm just going to use that being that that's held in place to drill the other hole Okay, I got that attached. I polished, flattened and polished these tips here, these screws. Otherwise, they would have looked like this. And you can tell the difference um, in the finish on them. I just need to clean out the groove a little bit. Um, that is a greenish blue ebonite I got at Vermont freehand.com anyway thanks for watching